The Irish crown jewels were first created in 1831 for the use of the Sovereign of Ireland, who at that time was King William IV. The jewels were designed and made by the Royal Jewellers Garrard and Company in London and included a diamond star and badge, a diamond brooch and necklace, and a diamond and emerald tiara. The jewels were used by the Sovereign during important state occasions, such as the opening of the Irish Parliament and the coronation of King Edward VII in 1902. They were also worn by the Lord Lieutenant of Ireland, who acted as the Queen's representative in Ireland and was responsible for the administration of the country. The jewels were kept in a safe in the Bedford Tower of Dublin Castle, which was considered to be one of the most secure locations in Ireland. The safe was opened by two keys, one held by the Chief Secretary for Ireland and the other by the Under Secretary. The jewels were only removed from the safe on rare occasions, and were always returned immediately after use. On the morning of July 6, 1907, it was discovered that the safe had been opened and the jewels were missing. An investigation was immediately launched, but no suspects were ever identified or arrested. The theft was widely believed to be an inside job, and several high-ranking officials in the Irish government and police force were suspected of involvement. However, no concrete evidence was ever found, and the case remains unsolved to this day. The theft of the Irish crown jewels caused a major scandal at the time and had significant implications for Irish national identity and pride. The fact that the jewels had been created specifically for use by the Sovereign of Ireland, and were stolen from a location that was supposed to be one of the most secure in the country, was seen as a symbol of British oppression and disrespect for Irish culture. The theft of the jewels also had practical implications for the administration of Ireland. The Lord Lieutenant was left without the symbols of his office, and the loss of the jewels was seen as a sign of disrespect for the Irish people and their history. Despite numerous rumors and sightings over the years, the Irish crown jewels have never been recovered, and their fate remains a mystery. The theft of the jewels remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in Irish history and has captured the imaginations of historians and jewel enthusiasts for over a century.